Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a really quick review and what fits of my new purse. This is the Prada Re-Edition 2005. I recently got this and ever since you guys haven't asked me to do a review on it and I always do. Whenever I buy a new bag, I like to show you guys, you know, like a what fits or like model shots and stuff because you know what? I like to watch those kind of videos before I make a purchase because I want to see everything before I, you know, spend the money so yeah I'm here to just do a really quick review of this baby here you guys have seen it on my Instagram I've been wearing this bag non-stop it's my go-to purse now this is the bag I never knew I needed this is the bag I never knew I needed also don't mind my hair I asked for subtle layers and she gave me 20 layers 20 <laughs> So it's been about a month since I purchased this bag, I think, or it might be longer, I'm not exactly sure. But I've worn this bag in so many different ways, it's not even funny because it's just the kind of purse that you can switch it up, wear it at any time of day, and it just looks like a diff it just looks so good. So as you can see, it comes with the first um, strap here, which is basically the shoulder bag, the shoulder handle, and it's just like a regular chain bag, as you can see, just like a regular silver chain and then it does come with this thicker strap which is basically a cross body strap it does have the Prada writing right here in this portion and then everywhere else is pretty much plain this bag is also adjustable you can adjust it to your preferred um, length if you want it to be like a little bit shorter or longer, you're able to do that, which is awesome. I love that these bags are adjustable because it really just changes the game. And this bag can be worn in three different ways. You can wear it as a shoulder bag, a crossbody bag, or even as a belt. And I'll show you that too. When I was in the Prada store, she showed me how it could be a belt. I have yet to wear it that way though, but that's also an option. So as for shopping experience, that whole thing was cool. I frequent that mall a lot. It's where it's it's, it's basically my local mall so I go there pretty often and um, it was my first time going into the Prada store though and they were cool and there were also Jamaicans in there so it was like the most funniest shopping experience ever you know I love my people them I love my people like it's, it was just like a very good experience they were welcoming they even showed me what it looks like and how to wear it so that was really, really cool as for the price I'm gonna go to the site because I forgot what the price is it's $12.90 and it came out to like 13 something with tax I I believe and um yeah it wasn't really hard to get it i just basically called and see if they had it in stock she said yes and i went the same day so that's basically what it is so in terms of the description this is a nylon shoulder bag with contemporary details and it's decorated with saffiano leather trim and that's pretty much it for the details it's 18 centimeter in height 6.5 centimeter in length and 22 centimeter in width i'm gonna insert some um, model shots for you so you guys can see what it looks like on my body so the first way to wear this purse is as a shoulder bag which to me is probably like my favorite for like an evening kind of look I wear it this way when I'm going out to maybe like dinner or like an evening kind of thing it turns into a shoulder bag and it's just so classy it's such a vibe so it's just like a 90s vibe also which is like my favorite thing right now that 90s like shoulder bag look i love that so as you guys can see i wear it as a shoulder bag the second way is as a crossbody bag and this is probably my favorite for whenever i want to just throw on a quick bag to run errands it's very casual and this strap just really gives it that casual vibe which i love 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 as you guys can see the strap is very very thick and you can adjust it to like a higher look or maybe a lower look whichever you want and sometimes I take this off and use it as like a coin pouch or whatever. Or sometimes I even pop my face mask in here because it's just, you know, right there. And I'll show you guys how you can wear it as like a belt. I've never worn it out this way before, but this is also an option. I might try this out one day because it looks really cool. So I'm just going to come closer so you guys can see the details of the bag. So as you can see, it's the nylon material here and the trim is of the saffiano leather and this here is the chain from the shoulder the shoulder strap 
which looks pretty good. And then on the side here, it has the little tag that says Prada Re-Edition 2005. And at times this does tend to annoy me, but it's completely fine now. Just sits on the side there. And that's that for that side. Now onto the cross body strap. As you guys can see, it's like a pretty thick, um, a pretty thick strap here has the silver detailing um, pretty much all over has a little things here and this is where the pouch pretty much hangs right here and the pouch is pretty small but you can fit a couple things in here I put like gum face mask tissues stuff like that that I need like on hand so this is what that looks like and then the other side is pretty much bare one thing I must say about this fabric though, it's very, um, it's easy to clean. I've gotten some stuff on here before and I just wiped it right off. It doesn't stain, none of that. You can just clean it right off and I love that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this portion of the video. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I keep in here. All right guys, I'm so sorry. I disappeared for a bit. The lighting is also a little bit different. I got a call from my grandmother in Jamaica and I was talking to her for a long time. You know how that goes, so I'm back. So where I left off was I was gonna share with you guys the things that I have in my purse right now. And I kind of put some additional things in here to kind of really fill it up so you guys can actually see what can really fit in this bag because it really fits a lot. So even though it's filled to the brim, as you can see, it's even bulging a little bit, the zipper is not affected at all. I can open the bag with ease, no issues, as you can see. So here's a quick overview of what I have working with inside the, the purse right now. So I'm just going to be grabbing things out as I go along. So first thing I have in here is some Love Beauty and Planet hand lotion. And this is like a pretty small tube. It's almost empty, but this is what I have in here right now. I also should put some on my hands because my hands are so dry. My hands are tore up, you guys. My hands are dry naturally. And then, you know, the excessive use of sanitizer and all of that is just... It's not good. <laughs> All right, so next up I have a $5 bill. So I'm just gonna put that here. Then I have a little travel size native deodorant and this is in the coconut, coconut and vanilla um, scent. I also have my Carmex. You guys know this is always in my purses. I also have this lipstick from MAC and it's their lip gloss in Bittersweet, Bittersweet Me. And that's just what this looks like. Next up, I have my ice cube gum. And as you guys can see, this is a pretty big gum container. So, you know, like, this bag is, is good because it fits this. Next up I have in here are my AirPods, and it's just in this little pink case here. And this is just the key pouch from Louis Vuitton, and I just have a couple keys on the end here. Next thing I have are some tissues. And it's just like a pack, a regular pack of tissues. I also have a face powder, and this is the MAC Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. Then I have my Chanel Mirror, and this is just in here in case I need a mirror to put on my lipstick and stuff, you know. Next up, I have two pouches of Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipe. Next up, I have my e.l.f. Sheer lipstick in the shade Dragon Fruit, and I love this for like a little pinky look on my lips. Whenever I get tired of like a darker shade, I like being able to just throw on like a pink one and stuff, you know. Then I have this little travel size like Hermes perfume. I've got this in a pack, a set from Sephora. I, I'm still using them. This is probably my favorite scent for the summertime. Um, it was called, don't know if you guys can see that. Then I have a travel size Chanel perfume and this is the Eau de Toilette. Just like the regular one. And then I have a whole bunch of coins in here. Got some coins and a necklace that I've been looking for. I have another face mask in here, have another Carmex in here, and I have another perfume in here, which is the Joe Malone perfume in Poppy and Barley, um, and then some additional coins. So you guys can see that all of that stuff was just in here, all of this stuff. And to just do a quick recap, the gum fit in here, tissues, keys, powder and mirror, chapstick, native deodorant, 
all these little travel size fragrances that I love. And then I have my AirPods in here. I had face masks. All of this stuff can fit in here. And you don't have to pack it a certain way. Regardless, it's going to close. You don't have to like strategically pack the bag a certain way to let things fit as you would need to do with like the speedy nano for example that's pretty much it for this video my little review and what fits in my new purse here i definitely highly recommend for those of you girls who are like simple like me and you just want a bag that can just be an evening wear or like a casual bag definitely think this is a great buy so if you guys have been eyeing this purse as i'm sure you have because you're watching this video definitely say go for it it's definitely worth it and probably the most practical bag I've purchased thus far. So thanks as always for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!